welcome back to Angela and the Doodles. It has been forever. I'm not sure if you've seen my shorts um, that I'm trying to start doing just to get me back into the flow of things. But one of my last shorts was about a new puppy. His name is Axel and he is about two and a half months, maybe a little more. Um, on the 10th of November, he will be three months. So there you have it. And Axel is a Great Dane. I know, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. But when I put my mind on something, I lock it in and I go for it. And oh my God, it's gonna be an adventure. A Great Dane and two Golden Doodles. The joy. And I'll be so happy to record our time together and you'll be able to see it. So are you ready to meet Axel? Okay, so this is Axel. Isn't he the cutest thing? Axel, say hi to everyone. Yeah, you gotta get used to being on camera. Yeah, that is Axel. So he is called a Great Dane and he is expected to weigh, uh-uh, it's a little fidgety, I'll tell you why. So he's expected to weigh around, I think the most is about 120 something to up to 175 pounds. Now that's just a guesstimate. Not all Great Danes actually weigh those particular numbers, but this is gonna be fun. And so um, Axel, he has a little issue and this is the reason why he's a little fidgety. Axel has, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it's just joint issues. His hind legs, both of them, they are extremely weak and they were like that supposedly when he was born. And so he puts most of his strength and his weight on his front paws. They seem to be fine. He is not knuckling, which means when they go like this with their paws, um, which is something pretty common that Great Danes uh, go through. Um, so he's not knuckling and he isn't bowed, meaning bow-legged. So um, yes, at times I do see that his hand, you know, his paws cross like that, but I'm thinking it's only because he's fighting, trying to pick up the weight from his hind legs. So Axel is not your regular puppy that you bring home. He actually um, doesn't really run because he can't. So when he's trying to run, he's actually like wobbling and you know, he's limping around. Um, but I try my best to give him as much exercise as I can. Um, I make him walk around the house and come to me. And you know, I'm not sure if it's a, a malnourished issue um coming from the mother maybe not too much milk i'm not sure he was the smallest one from the litter um and pretty much i guess considered the runt but my little runt is going to be top of the line because i have faith that when we go to the vet we're going to get good news and um hopefully if it is joint issues, it'll be something that can be resolved with medications or maybe a change of diet or something. Um, I am giving him some supplements, um, vitamin C, um, some glucosamine, and um, you know, a bunch of other stuff. And we just started it this week. There you go. But um, my little baby here, his fur color is not considered white or black it's considered harlequin now harlequin on uh great danes is pretty much what you see here so when they have um a base coat of white and then they have black spots maybe a little bit of grayish here and there um solid black spots and grayish that's considered harlequin mr axel is not merle Merle Great Danes would look similar to this, but you will see more of a marble 
color so you'll see them mostly a gray based coat or a white based coat uh, but you will see the black starting to like marble around so this baby here is a one of a kind because not all of them are harlequin and i'm so blessed and i'm so happy that i was able to get the one that i wanted and i'm praying over his hind legs and i'm just hoping that everything is going to be okay with him right look at his eyes i don't know if you can really see his eyes but his eyes are kind of like a like a grayish uh like a light greenish light very 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 light brown like a yellow tint um in the light it looks a lot more lighter i'm not sure the camera it just looks um looks brown but he is so precious he's so smart he is eating like crazy he does not play with his food i tell you you think he can run oh he will run and limp at the same time when he hears the food bag so it's so funny he has done a few things to show me that he is pretty smart and um yeah we're also dealing with charlie and luna not being so nice to him um they're casting him out which is okay they still have time to get to know each other they have to understand that this is a baby and he's not going anywhere so soon soon it'll we'll all be one happy family all right so this is axel and i just wanted to introduce you to axel so say goodbye look at these big paws bye <laughs> i know baby i know he's he's a little fidgety and then he wants to like swallow your face it's not even like you know little kisses it's like <sighs> look at him look okay 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 my sweet boy all right so i'm gonna put him down and i am so happy that i was able to introduce you to my new baby axel and i will excuse you i will see you around <laughs>